we have an example problem here. A 2.5 centimeter tall object is located four centimeters to the left of a diverging lens with a focal length of negative five centimeters. A converging lens of focal length eight centimeters is 12 centimeters to the right of the first lens. Find the position, size, and orientation of the final image. All right, so height. We know the height of the original object. We're told that this object is four centimeters Sorry, my computer's slowing down on me. So four centimeters to the left of a diverging lens that has a focal length of negative five centimeters. A converging lens that has a focal length of eight centimeters is located 12 centimeters to the right of the first lens. We want the position, size, and orientation of the final image. So the light is going to go through the diverging lens first. So I'm going to call that F1 for lens 1. It will then pass through the second lens and we as observers can be over here looking through to see this final image. All right, so again, our equations that relate positions and then our magnification. These equations can be used for one lens at a time. When we have a two lens system, we find the image that lens one alone would create, and then we just treat that as the object for the second lens. Oops. So S1, the object, is four, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing to my screen, sorry. S1 is four centimeters away from lens one. The focal length of lens one is negative five centimeters. Negative because it's a diverging lens. So the image we can find one over four. The image created just by lens one is negative 2.2222 and so forth. These are in centimeters because I left both F and S in centimeters, so that gives me S prime in centimeters. The magnification this first lens by the first lens is this image distance over the object distance. So positive point five 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 five. All right, so let's draw this image. Negative 0.22, if I look at the table for positive and negative values, negative means it's a virtual image. Because I'm working with a lens, a negative S prime for a lens 
means it is on the same side as the object. So 2.2222 centimeters. Positive means this image is inverted. Oh dear, not inverted, it's upright. And it's just roughly over half the size of the object. All right, this image becomes the object for lens two. We treat this as the object now. This is the object for lens two. When we use these equations, S, S prime, F have to be measured from the lens we're using the equations for. So we actually need to know the distance from this lens all the way over to our object, which happened to be the image. So 12 centimeters is how far the lenses are apart. And then we need to add that 2.222 centimeters because that's how far to the left that image is located. So 14.222. I'm just going to keep a few of those. F2 was given, that's eight centimeters. So we can find this image. I'm using the same equation I did before, Oops. but now I'm using values specifically measured for lens two. So S2 prime ends up being 18.29 centimeters. I'm going to round that answer to the two sigs we're given in the problem, the two sig figs. But let me first find magnification for this second lens. One point two eight six. All right. So the final image is 18 centimeters. Now, which side of the lens is it on? S2, we came up with a positive answer, which means it is real. And looking at the table in the test notes, a positive answer for image distance, it says opposite side. That means opposite where the original object was located. So in our picture and from the wording of our problem, the original object was, is on the left side. So this final image 
is 18 centimeters to the right of the converging lens. So back here, 18 centimeters. Now, size and orientation comes from the overall magnification. Overall magnification is the magnification of both lenses multiplied together. So the positive 0.5556, sorry, I've got some serious lag time. I've got to give my computer a rest. Minus 1.286. We're getting negative 0 0.7145. Overall magnification means the final image is inverted because we got a negative answer. So that's the orientation. The size comes from taking this magnitude of the overall magnification and relating it to the height of the image to the height of the object. So our magnification, 0.7145, I have to come back and find the height. So our object is 2.5 centimeters tall. So I'll rounding this to two significant figures, the image is 1.8 centimeters tall. So final image is 18 centimeters to the right of the converging lens. It is inverted, that's the orientation of it, and then its size is 1.8 centimeters tall.